hey guys what's up hi my dolls i hope all is well hi to my old subscribers and welcome to my new subscribers if you're not subscribed go ahead and click the subscribe button like and comment and share this video you know we, we gotta help the girls to her support and help the girl out so this look I'm, I'm gonna do a makeup look i'm gonna do a tutorial and it's for my anniversary i'm going on a date so it's the anniversary weekend um so i'm gonna do a little bit of glam something very simple but with a little pop i'm trying to either do glitter with color in the crease but keep it quite neutral let's see how i do with that um so yeah i'm gonna go into the video right now so i hope you like it's gonna be like a get ready with me I might talk a little, I might not, I'm not sure yet, depending on my mood. As you can hear, I'm kind of nasal, I don't know what's going on. I'm not coughing, I'm not doing anything, but my nose is very stuffed up. I can't deal, it's annoying, but the show must go on, so I'm gonna do that. So, y'all might see my nose, <laughs> Ugh. but yeah. So, continue watching the video, and I hope you will like it share and comment and like and subscribe as i said so yeah start with my brows i'm gonna be using the milani easy brows and the jordana uh guava bean for my brows so i'm just gonna do a full brow use a spoolie on here and then clean up so yeah that's what i'm doing i'm using this uh, it's very light it's just to fill in my brows as you can see my brows are very full so i don't need a lot to to make a brow so yeah but i love this i love this if you can see you just, like, yeah yeah you see you can see that hair like stroke very easy very simple you don't have to do a lot and then after i do that i'm gonna use my dior brow gel just to brush through the hairs and get them in place and then do a little bit of cleanup so my brow routine is very easy because i have full brows and i don't need a lot and i don't do a lot with brows for myself like i have full brows so i don't need to do all of that yeah so very simple routine here So now I'm gonna use my Estee Lauder uh, Deep um, we call it Concealer to do my brows. Just clean up the underneath. So my my brows actually need to wax. So all I did because I'm in a rush. I just took a razor and took off the underneath so it's not really like as thin as it would be if I had freshish wax but yeah this will do I have a quick clean under under what do you call it under my bro clean kind of words so yeah baby's woman and I am not ready and I'm doing that again but the baby's sleeping so anywho we still have to wait the baby in project yet on all of these things so if y'all can hear the vehicle I'm sorry I live with a man where I have a sports vehicle So, the underneath 
the bronze is done. So I'm gonna start with the eyes. Primer, I generally use this sample size of the Derma Blend. The Derma Blend Cover Cream um, Foundation. It's a very light shade. It's a pinky tone. So I've been using that as my primer. Um, I got this from a lovely client of mine. It's actually a high school um, schoolmate's mother turned um, friend. Yeah. It's like we weren't friends in high school. We know each other. But we're friends and now we're kind of like internet friends and stuff. She's so sweet. I love her mother. Her mother has a she and her mother has the like the best relationship in my eyes. I like, I didn't get to have the teen girl relationship with my mom because my mom was sick and then she passed off. So yeah. But yeah, I prime my eyes with this. It's creamy, not too creamy, so the product will hold and give a full coverage that I need. Alright, so I'm trying out a palette. It's a very inexpensive palette. It's by Beauty Treats. I want to see the pigmentation because it's been a long time since I've used a drugstore brand. Um, so I want to see how banging drugs drugstore how you know is them something you will start with we're not gonna leave them out so we'll try them and it was sent by my aunt so i wanted to see what it's like not too bad not too bad so i'm putting a purple in my crease Ooh. pleasantly surprised not bad I'm not doing a cut crease, I'm doing more of a blended look. Taking a brown shade and blending down that color. I don't know why I did that because I'm gonna apply a peachy tone over that. Yeah. yeah. A peachy pink tone eyeshadow i'm not looking at you guys for the mirrors behind you so i have to see what i'm doing all right guys and there's no monitor because i i'm actually trying to use my phone just so i can get this video out quickly all right so i'm gonna reapply that purple So here the purple is the defining color in my crease just to bring some definition like, I don't know why I said neutral but I'm trying <laughs> to make it not that low because I do have no clue what I'm wearing so I guess the makeup will defy what I'm wearing I'm gonna take back my primer and make back some lid face. If I was going to do a cut face, I would clean that up first, but I'm not, so I'm just dabbing, dabbing on my eyelids, on my lid face, a little bit in the crease so it, it can blend the other color that I'm about to put with the purple so now I'm gonna take a very egg tone white and almost white looking eyeshadow and 
took all over my lid. If you're a beginner, unblended looks like let me let me shit out again. Blended looks are the best kind of looks for you. Cause it's easier to blend shadows like if you just tap over clean brush tap over clean brush um than those defined because you have to get very clean lines with that and that's the problem with some persons they don't get very clean lines so the looks look so yeah starting i suggest getting some very blended looks by just going over colors over colors taking your time and practice you get it all right as you guys seen i'm moving very fast with this look i don't want to take long because we got places to go places to be all right so i'm using this absolute flawless powder face powder to be my brow bone color i'm just dabbing it and blending it in the pink fading it out a little And of course, I'm gonna go over this again to blend the colors properly. Let me talk. Um, let's talk about marriage, kids, and what's not life. Where I'm at in life right now. So marriage and having a child is very rough sometimes because you have to balance that. You have to remember that you have another person who depends on you and you have somebody who is longing for love like you can't just pay attention to the child you get the husband or you can't just have the, the husband and you get the child it's a balancing where like with everything in life it's a balancing act like and i have definitely been trying to well i've been learning how to do that it's hard at at times because I want to focus on my son because I'm I'm definitely one of those mothers who ch the child is my first priority because I may bring him in other words. Me decided to go lay down with my partner and have the picnic. Right? Both are fussy, yes. Both and we're both doing the job, mind you. And I really appreciate that about my husband. Let me talk about that. Like, my husband, why? At first, like, in our earlier stages, I don't think he was like this. Like, in, like, before we were married, I did not see this side of him. Meaning, he wasn't taught to do certain things. So it didn't come natural, but. He has definitely grown into his own as a father, especially not having that father figure in his own life. Me, I have to big up Daddy Smith. Cops. He, him is a real, real one. Him is a real father figure. And I'm loving that for DJ and myself. Like, He helps out when he needs to help, well not help out, he does what he needs to do and there are some things I might have to suggest and say babe, blah blah blah, but like that's with any human being, he's a human being, um, but he has definitely been, mm -mm. I was gonna go with gold, but I decided I just want to do something a little bit lighter than the gold. Right? I'm gonna go do the champagne color from the Juvia's palette. I was still working with the um Matic Pav. 
the beauty treat palette so it's like a champagne color to go on that stark white then you need to add a little in the purple i'm starting to sweat i'm gonna put a darker color in the crease I hope you guys can see this because my light is not too bright. Oh gosh. That's what I need to get together. Like my lighting. It's not it's like I don't have one spot. And yes guys, I'm in my room. I'm in my room. I decided to go in my room every day. As if I went in the beauty the makeup room. This wouldn't happen for me. Cause I have too much things to do. You know that very well day. Alright, so I'm gonna take a darker shade and put in the outer area here. Yeah, I like that. So it's like a dark brown with a hint of purple undertone kind of color. So that's why I'm putting it in the crease. In the outer corner, I should say not the crease. So I hope you guys can see what I mean by a neutral but not a neutral. Yeah, it's a neutral but it's not so neutral. Um, so yeah, I need to put a little bit more of this color in my face. I don't want to use it too much. Yeah. I to go back and forth, back and forth, but yeah. I'm all over the place with the talk, but being a mom and I'm I'm a stay-at-home working mom and a lot of persons who are I just say stay-at-home mom just to whatever keep people out of my business. But I do work from home. Um, right now I'm a caregiver too, to to a to a four-year-old that is autistic. Um, I love doing that with him because I'm seeing him grow. I'm seeing him learning like he's learning is right now we're focusing I well I'm focusing on getting him to be responsive because he knows stuff but he's not responsive like if you ask a question he's not gonna answer and it's part of his um symptoms of being autistic um but he's been doing good with his days of the week he definitely knows his alphabet but to point him out it's a whole different story and I've been working on that um, but we're on um, Christmas break um, so or we're going to Christmas break I don't know if I'm gonna have it next week um, but it's definitely a fun thing and you guys know about the should know about the um, jewelry business as well I've been doing that as you guys should know um, liner, I need liner. Um, and I like there's so many things I want to do and I just need to focus that's my main thing I need to focus um, but and I don't see myself being a 9 to 5 kind of person I want to because I want to make them quick and easy money because that's what I see a nice fight it's a short money um and owning your business you have to be working 24 7 which i which i don't mind um because what i want is the luxury of my own option i don't want it be like somebody over my back forcing me to do something for me that literally makes me feel sick like it literally makes me feel sick so I don't think I can do that. But if I need to, I will, because you know, picking up for eat, 
but I'm grateful for my husband for even that he understands that like even with our like conversation on me staying home he understands because like right now we do have like we do have a village and it's not like I can I wasn't working a 95 before having my child I was working you know like I, I was working somewhere but it's not like it's not like a place where I'll go back and it makes sense where I can pay somebody even though it would be both of us paying some but it not gonna make sense or pay somebody to take care of DJ because it doesn't make sense financially like I'm not gonna have me not gonna have no money left it don't make no sense right and uh, you want to talk are you listening to me all right sorry about that um i got an interruption but yeah it's not financially it doesn't financially make sense for me right now um because not like i go and get a job with my degree because it come like nobody i literally don't know nobody where I have a degree and i make money from that degree like so far is my talent and my skilled certification that has got me leave the door certification not my degree that has got me jobs so let that serenade if you're planning to go to school and there are enough people out there that have a degree don't have a degree and making more money than people with degree because guess why them just go and go get a job in the call center them or wherever and them make them money them making the same money that you with a degree and you have pay your how much in debt that's the next thing how much in debt you have pay as a as a person with degree I don't know how I reach here, so, but yeah, I reach here, so this is a topic. <sighs> and all these things. But yeah, I digress. Um, but I'm loving the dy- dynamics of my family. We can literally get up and go anywhere we want to go. Um, well, not anywhere, but we are financially stable that we can do enough i am making the ends meet with whatever i want to do because most of the time they just say your pay or whatever it is with your extra pay you just do what you want which is student loan at the moment and my insurance and a little saving but apart from that my sanity is making sure my little home and my little village is okay people will say oh she's not ambitious cause this and that like all right make sure it financially makes sense for me and my family before you say something you don't know my circumstances i don't know i have very bad anxiety i don't nobody know nobody to just come in my house and trust them to take care of my house and my kids that is one that is the anxiety part of it i don't have the job yet i haven't found a job that can pay me enough to be secured to say all right it makes sense what i mean i not just make a twenty thousand dollar at the end of the day that doesn't make no sense because there are enough people that like even the other day i see somebody but that like on tiktok saying that her mother growing up her mother pay was 90 90 percent child care that makes sense if you're in a field that you know you can grow into you know jamaica you cannot grow into any field the old foot then sit down into it until god he knows when them decide to come outside me me as according to the criteria of getting a job have no experience so me I have to start from the bottom yeah me I start from the diggy diggy bottom diggy diggy bottom so I'm trying to just make life as it is like if y'all look at these men I mean y'all these, these new generation they're not focused on job at 
No, they're not focusing on job. They're focused on experience of life, and it's much better. Yeah, yeah, dead. You know, you're something. You know, your eighties, you know, your seventies, and you're not even left your own country. And I thought that is not a life, and that's not the life I want to live for myself or my child. But pretty soon, me and my child will be traveling. It's just that. I wait to not live because I want to do the family travel first and the COVID happened so you know and me me I'm ready for the vaccine and like I will buy time when I see this but take the vaccine but I was not ready to take the vaccine not because I'm against it I just was not ready I never did that left me yard never have no plans car world never open up so now that I'm after travel and I'm after you or I'm want to travel I'm going to use the vaccine to travel. I'm going to get it. Like, I will. Because I want to go places. Apart from that, I was home in my yard with my son. I'm just start go school. The most we go is supermarket. And a family yard. Very rarely. Anyways, I just use the Revlon. This is an old, old school thing. I've not used Revlon foundation in a while, so I just draw for that. And I'm reminded why I liked it. Like, look at this. Like, I'm not KK, I'm covered. Though I'm gonna put on a little bit more after I do my concealer, but I'm covered. Like, the girl look flawless. The girl look nice. Alright, so next I'm gonna use. Uh, NARS, a deep potted NARS concealer under my eyes nice thick and creamy give me the highlight that I need and stuff I am here talking away and I didn't realize that my camera stopped or I didn't press record. I don't know what happened, I don't know where I left off, but here I am. I've been talking away, I don't know. But I have put on my powder under my eyes. I use the Fit Me powder in deep. Um, I put on my blush all in a C shape. Um, way and now I'm gonna apply my powder to my face, my skin tone, foundation powder, and also brush away all the powders under my eyes. Set the set the the um, foundation more. Why? Yeah, I was talking away, and y'all weren't even hearing anything. But yeah. Um, what was I even saying at this point? Ooh, that sucks. I was saying so much good things. Um, but yeah. Financially, everything. <laughs> now I have to go be checking. 
to make sure everything was is recording. I'm at um, lips. Uh, I'm gonna use the Milani Easy Liner, Retractable Liner in Terra Kiss. It's already grown. Jacobs <sighs> hydrating lip gloss stick and this is in uh oh honey this is just to hydrate my lips really and then I'm gonna use Anastasia Beverly Hills um, in Lovely. and everything is finished, brows, you know, done, to keep back into it, brush them out, brush them up, yeah, oh, I'm gonna finish my under, like, under eyes, put on my lashes, and then my hair and color. So, this is the final look, I'm about to head out, actually, <sighs> late, for the time that I wanted to leave out for. Um, I'm not wearing what I initially planned to wear. It's over there, but at this time, I think it's like too much. It's too dressy for the time of day. Cause it's like late. Um, but yeah, this is the look. This is the look, this is the look. And this is my lovely signing note and remember to wear the best you for the world to see. Bye dolls and remember to like, comment and subscribe. Share the video with somebody that you think would like it. Um, tell me what you think about marriage down below and financing for having a child. Like that's a very serious topic that we could talk about down below. So hey, let me know what you guys think. Bye guys.